Hey, what's going on, screencasters, Google My Businessers, GMBers, Goombers, whatever you are, if you are interested in Google My Business, how it works, what it is, some tips and tricks, and how to look at the insights and analytics, this is the right video for you. So let's do it! When you go to businessgoogle.com, if you don't already have locations, um, and we could pull up an incognito mode and say business Google, it will look like this. And it'll say, hey, uh, you need to sign in or manage now, right? So you sign in and then you kind of go through the whole process. But what it's trying to get you to do is uh, to sign up with Google My Business, which is like, how do I say this? It's like a, a, a local directory listing site combined with uh, Google uh, Plus. Uh, so right here, you'll see this. What it looks like on on uh, on mobile is that it's an image. It's got the title. It's got the reviews, and it's got all these different ways to contact the business owner, uh, phone directions. Uh, directions is through Google Maps, messaging, website, etc., etc., etc. So basically, your business gets a business profile that's located directly inside of Google, which is awesome because uh, that's the number one web search engine in the world. And I'm sure somewhere on this page they'll they'll like to tell you that, right? Look at that, five billion searches on Google for restaurants, three billion searches for hotels. And how many million is a billion? 1,000 million is a billion. So that's a lot of people. And not only that, but uh, it's telling you here that Google My Business also shows you how many views that your profile got, how many searches people are searching for you, and a lot of other really interesting stuff that we'll cover later. Let's say that you already have that and you already managed to get your business profile in. Um, right here is your is your main dashboard. And if you um, if you have multiple clients that you um, uh, do a managed uh, consulting service for, like me, um, I get to have access to their profiles and post on their behalf and do all sorts of cool things for them um, on their behalf. So let's look at one of the clients here. Um, it is a Wooddale diesel engine repair service shop. It's real small, but it actually gets uh, quite a lot of um, people uh, to its profile. So right here, you'll see that here's the name. You have, you have all these really neat tabs on here, right? Um, blah, 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 right? Um, and, and by the way, it's always going to try to show you how um because i think really this whole thing is a conspiracy to get you to do google adwords which is nothing wrong with that but i'm just saying it's a free service google my business is absolutely free but it really tries to shove hey this is what you're this is what you're going to look like in google ads right because if you go back to vc plumbers right what was the first thing that you saw right here? It was these two ads, right? That aren't even VC plumbers. So you have to scroll down and you have to be, you know, web savvy enough to know that it's an ad. Anyways, I digress. So um, the first thing is you have your home. This is your dashboard, right? It looks like this. It shows you your latest posts. It shows you your performance. It shows you your your photos, your latest reviews, and has all that stuff on it, right? You're not really going to ever use home, right? This is new, by the way. I'm interested in this. Um, anyways, but uh, so the one cool thing that Google My Business has is Google Posts. So if you do a search for Sandy and LLC in Wooddale, you'll see that this is what it looks like um, for me who manages this profile. It has a little verification thing. Um, it says, you know, visible only to you. And then it, it, it gives me a little thing, you know, views in the last 28 days. I can edit the info, I can create a post, I can add a photo, I can look 
through my reviews and by the way create an ad but anyway so right here it's got 12 google oh and, and it says this you manage this profile what does this mean only managers of this anyways um shows you all the blah 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 it also pulls other reviews from the web um so there's facebook and i'm sure there's like yelp as well and there's other services that you can connect um it shows the reviews and then it shows the description of uh sandy ent um but what we want to see is the google posts so this is what you see which is i i think is really neat you could see the posts that we've been doing so this one got a lot of attention right so before and after pics of a DOC cleaning, he charges customer a whopping $100 to do this. It was a before and an after, a little $100 fix thing. I did that in Adobe Spark for some reason. But anyways, um, we get to see and on the back end how many people saw the post and how many people clicked on the button, okay? So um, let's take a look at that actually, because that's very interesting. So you, you go to posts, and um we can see that oh look that got 12 views and it got one click so um this click actually directs you to their website um and then hopefully that converted into a customer for the client and uh there's three real ways to do uh, you know google posts there's an update there's an event and then there's an offer um, you really should be only doing an offer or an event. The updates and the what's new type of posts, uh, they don't really perform really well. Um, I don't know if you saw these stats, but uh, 12 views is not very good, right? Um, so, but when you look at other people's um, um, uh, numbers and you look at the offers versus the updates, the offers always perform way way better and the events always perform way better as well. So what my recommendation is, always go for the offer or always go for the events. And an event doesn't need to be physical. It could be a webinar, you know, it could be something like a remote like that. And an offer can be, you know, $100 off this week off of service or something like that. But something that to engage people is gonna be way better than just doing a, a picture with some text like that, all right? Uh, and the one thing else that you have to know about Google posts is that they expire every week. So every seven days, you have to either re do a uh, repeat of what you just did or do a new media set or another asset or another graphic, right? The posts expire every seven days. So you got to do a new one every seven days, all right? Um, the info section is pretty straightforward. You can put all sorts of cool things on here, where your service areas are, the category of your business, um, and you could also view your business profile on maps versus search, and you could also share the business profile um, directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, or Twitter, or via email. Um, if you share it via email, that's a very good way to get reviews, and Google reviews are worth their weight in gold okay they're worth their weight in gold always go for the google review and um you know there's all sorts of neat things you could do with google my business a little like you know your premium options and premium features um you can do google assistant calls and um, you can you know hook up google ads location extension phones as well so um, if you put a number, for example, you could put a very uh, you could put a an exact number called a location extension on a Google ad set, and that will track how many people uh, uh, I'm actually call that number, and you'll know that your ad is doing well if you get a lot of calls on that number. So, anyways. Um, you get all, you, there's a lot of advanced stuff here as well, uh, but advanced means money, money, money. Uh, okay, cool. So here's the really neat things is the insights. Um, I love this stuff. This is every quarter. I try to give my clients a little presentation, a little slide deck of what is working and what's not working. Okay. 
So we can see for his business, which is really interesting, that there's a breakdown between direct search, discovery search, and branded search, okay? So direct search is customers who find your listing searching for your business name or address, all right? This is good, very good that this is only 6.8% because that means that someone doing a search is literally typing in Sandy Ent, you know, Sandy Ent, all right? The, these types of people um, already know your business or worse yet, they might even be you looking for your business online. So we generally want that to be pretty small. Uh, discovery though is uh, who are people who are looking up uh, diesel services near me type of thing, okay? And uh, you know, the idea is for him to be a little bit higher than this, but that's the type of discovery search that, that uh, this is telling you about. And a branded search is really odd. Um, it's it's a, you're looking for a, a business um, through a brand, all right? So it might be um, that there is a, uh, uh, he, he does like diesel engine repair services. So they might be looking for like a semi-truck brand or, um, a large truck, uh, like name brand, and then they're going in diesel repair, and then that's how it pops up. So that's a kind of a cool conversation starter with your client. Like, hey, we noticed this about your insights. What do you think about it? Because, hey, guys, you know, your client's going to be the expert here, right? Uh, not you. Uh, the other cool thing here, which I love, is it tells you exactly what the search queries are that people are using to find your um, your your business. So you know it's it's very obvious here. Diesel, diesel near me. The DPF cleaning, diesel particular filter cleaning near me. These are very precise searches too. This one here is. I hope this guy gets it. I mean, no doubt. Yeah, see what I mean? Like if you, anywhere you, if you do this search, you're getting Sandy Ent for sure, for sure. So that's awesome. Um, and then, uh, you know, you can see, uh, it tells you, um, this is really cool. It tells you if people are looking more at you on Google search or looking more at you and Google Maps, and if you can see this, look at him. Um, ten, t 10 times more people are looking at his business on Google Maps interface rather than the Google search interface. So uh, that is very, very cool. And you you might also ask why that is. Like, what? hey, 10 times more people are looking at you on Google Maps? That's crazy. And then you might say, well, hey, I notice you're not on on Bing Maps, you know. You you're not on Waze either. You know what I mean. So there's other avenues then uh, through your questioning uh, to maybe get a like an additional service added on to your client. Uh, customer actions are really cool. Um, you can look at the quarterly thing. So in the last quarter, there's 12 people to his website, 32 people requested directions, and 38 people called you. There's also a, a messaging feature, which is so cool. We haven't used it yet, but you could actually, um, it, as long as you have the app on your phone, then there's an icon. Uh, there should be one on his. Let's see here. Where is that icon? Let's see here. Hold on. Sandy and LLC. Oh, here we go. Website direction save. Oh, maybe, so maybe we don't have it uh, turned on, but um, it would it would actually appear like right here. It would say message, and then you can actually have a chat message directly with the, um, with the with the client or with the owner of the business, and then you could put up you know custom AI conversational skills as well. Like uh, you can have a response message or welcome message and you can build off of that. Anyway, so pretty cool, right? 
Um, and then there's uh, so many other features of uh, GMB. Um, you got to be posting um, pictures on your Google My Business profile pretty consistently. Um, and they have it, you know, you categorize by owner, by customer, video, interior, exterior, uh, at work, team, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, they say that to, to typically you know, post a picture like every week or so. So when you're doing the Google My Business posts, it's a good idea to throw in a picture as well. Fresh content for Google is always a good thing. Um, they also have a bookings uh, type of thing. Uh, it's a feature that you have to enable, but you can only choose between two providers currently. Um, I haven't tried YoCal, 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 but I have tried Visita before. I actually um, had them for about a year and a half. Uh, they're a great uh, con uh, customer management, C CMS, CSM, uh, whatever. Uh, they you put all your clients in there, you organize them, and then, you know, it could do a lot of really cool things, right? Uh, including establishing appointments and bookings for you. And you could attach that directly on your Google My Business profile. Uh, services are cool. Um, you could just add, so he does DPF cleaning. Uh, you know, what you could do, you know, um, is you could actually build this out a little bit better, I would say is you could actually uh, type in the service description in addition um, because for whatever weird reason, guys, it builds you a website if you want it. So look at this. Look how weird this is. It, I mean, this is a live website that you could literally go on right now. Um, and here, let's just take a look at it. Let's go on like incognito let's check this out this auto generates from your your google my business profile so uh it's got it's got the graphics it's got all the google my business posts here learn more it's got all the um it's got all the posts it has the reviews it has the photos and then it has the map and then it has the directions and business hours like how cool is that right and then what they want you to do is they want you to buy a domain name through Google Domains. See, they're always, they're always looking for money, right? Um, super cool. Um, share website. Interesting. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I, I, I haven't really screwed around too much with this because usually all the clients already have a website. But, um, I mean, if you're looking for, I mean... Literally, you don't have to make a website at all. You just have to do all the other stuff. You could hand your client a website and a, uh, uh, a profile on Google as well, if that's what you want to do. Okay, I'm back and we did it. Google My Business ain't so hard at all, right? So you have the tools now to go into your profile, to build your own profile, and more importantly, to soup it up and make it awesome. So good luck to you and good luck on your Google My Business journey. If you have any questions, comment below. Hit the subscribe button. And as you can see in the background, I'm building some new things and making my channel a little bit better in the near future. So if you have any uh, ideas or some video ideas, comment below. Anyways, this is the part where I lay back and have the uh, things pop up.